Hello everybody! It is so great to be back and for a lot of you you're gonna be like what, what do you mean? Where did you go? Uh, because for the last 10 days I've been on family vacation and it was so super relaxing and so awesome uh, but some of you probably didn't realize that because you know to keep up with my goal of publishing a video every day I decided to pre-publish the last 10 videos so all of those were happening when I was vacationing with my family and I actually make a rule um, some of you may know this if you follow me on uh, on Twitter um, that when I am on vacation I don't do any work I don't do any work for my day job and I don't do any work for my night job which is the show so uh, I decided to not shoot any videos or actually more more uh, accurately not publish any new videos while I was on vacation. Well, yesterday I came back from vacation and today I am going to go back to all the videos that I shot while I was on vacation because I still shot stuff. I just didn't edit it and publish it and do all that stuff um, and share it with you because I tasted some amazing stuff. It was pretty awesome. I had a great, great vacation. If you guys are interested, I published a, uh, actually a little you know, video slideshow thing on my other YouTube channel because uh, we decided, my three kids, we were going to take the same pose, same picture at every single place that we went to. And my kids and my wife and I are like history buffs. And so we went to 12 national parks and 16 museums in 10 days. It was crazy, but crazy, crazy awesome. Anyway, let's get started because one of the things that I did while we were driving, it was a driving vacation. We started here in Raleigh, North Carolina, and then we went north and went to Gettysburg and went to Hershey Park and we went to Philadelphia and we went to Colonial Williamsburg and all that stuff. Well, a lot of times when you're driving and you're on the road, you have no choice but to stop at one of the fast food joints uh, that are on the highway. And so one of the days we were at McDonald's, not my favorite, guys. I got to tell you, it's probably like my fifth favorite. Uh, we'll get into that at another time. Uh, we were at McDonald's and I saw this. It was the limited edition peaches and cream pie, baked pie. Now, a little background. I used to work at McDonald's when I was in high school, junior high, high school. When I was 14 to 18, I worked at McDonald's. And I was there during the transition from deep fried, take a bite, scald the inside of your mouth apple pie to the baked apple pie. And I was one of those people that was like, no, don't take away the deep fried apple pie because it's amazing. Some of you people are watching this and you're like, what? There was deep fried apple pie at McDonald's? But for some of you old people like me, you will remember that. Um, I'm okay with the baked apple pies. I've never really gone that much further with that. You know, I, I've never gone and said, you know what, I'm going to review all of these seasonal baked pies at McDonald's. But this one, for some reason, just grabbed me because I was like, I love peach cobbler. I love peach pie. And I'm interested to how they're going to do peaches and cream baked pie. So I ordered this thing. It was like 80 cents or something like that. And it's the standard size pie, just like the baked apple pie at McDonald's. But the way they do the cream is basically like peaches and cheese uh, apple pie, uh, pe peaches and cheese baked pie because the cream or creme, uh, the cream is actually like the same type of cheese, like sweet cheese that you, they use in cheese danishes. That's not to say that it was bad. It was actually pretty enjoyable. The peaches were good. It wasn't super sweet. Um, it wasn't like gummy like you find in danishes where it's like all dried out and gummy. Uh, it was actually like, you know, the same consistency as like the nice apple filling that you get in the apple pie. But that extra little like like strip or whatever, like like gel path or trail of cheese Danish cheese complements that amazing peach flavor. I actually really enjoyed this and I think you would too if you like the flavors of peach and cream and you like pies and you're okay with McDonald's and you like spending less than a dollar. Um, I think it was a pretty awesome. The only thing I wish it had more was a finer balance between the cheese and the, sorry cheese, the cream, it's really cheese, the cheese and the peaches because uh, on the little table tents at the McDonald's it, it was like a significant amount of the cream. It wasn't enough but it was pretty awesome. I give it a four out of five star rating. Question of the day. What is your favorite 
pie experience from a fast food place because uh, Burger King has some like non fruit pies too, right? They have like these like Oreo ice cream cream pies that type of deal. What's your favorite fruit? No, what? My, I'm so out of sync, guys. I've been on vacation. Uh, what is your favorite pie scenario from a fast food place? Leave it in the comment section. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. I'm coming back with tons and tons of more videos because I shot some awesome things. A little sneak peek. I went to Hershey Park and I made my own chocolate. I went to Turkey Hill, the Turkey Hill Experience, and I, and I made my own ice cream. I had my favorite Philadelphia experiences of Scrapple and soft pretzels, and I had amazing chicken and waffles. I did a lot of awesome stuff. All those videos are coming your way this week. I will see you tomorrow.